Hi everybody, Michelle from SangriaSisters.com. Um, it's week four of Couch to 5K, my third workout. And I decided to do an extra one this week because I thought that I could use that uh, that extra boost. And um, I was kind of a bad girl tonight. I didn't follow the program as I was supposed to. Well, I did the program. I did follow the program. But that last um, that last part of a half a mile... I felt really good and the first time I had to do a half a mile tonight I was I don't know like I felt like there were there was lead in my legs I just was ugh, not I was not in the groove um, but the second time I did it by the time I got to the half I had like this kind of high going on and I don't know if maybe I wasn't properly warmed up when I first started or not um, so maybe I'll extend my warm-up time but anyway so the second time I did the half mile, and then I did another lap, which is a quarter mile. And then I thought, holy, you know what? I could probably keep going, and I did. And I jogged an entire mile. <clears throat> and um, I was in so much disbelief. Oh, my God. I've never, I can't remember ever completing the mile run in school um, at, of of jogging or running and I just always had to walk so much of it so um, it was really powerful and I started tearing up there towards the end um, I had some really good songs on my eye shuffle which I think kind of is, was part of the inspiration to keep going um, but I really found that that great spot of focus you know sometimes um, your breathing gets out of whack or you just feel um, I don't know, like it's just never going to end. And when you lose your focus like that, it just makes the workout feel that much more difficult. <clears throat> but uh, in the second half mile interval, um, I was really focusing on the breathing, the counting. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because some people say, look on the horizon. I thought that, that kind of worked well for me. But Actually, I find that it doesn't so much. It seems like the finish is just really far away when I do that. So I don't look down at my feet, but I do look about anywhere from 10 to 15 feet, I guess, ahead and just kind of focus on the path that way. And before I know it, I've reached the goal that wherever it is that I need to reach. And like tonight, was able to do more. So I, I don't plan to do that again, but I think I was just... I was so in awe that I did the half a mile and still felt capable to keep going that I wanted to see just how far I could take that. And, you know, it didn't, it, it was not, um, you know, when I finished that mile, it's not like I was falling apart or anything. I felt good. So that really gives me some inspiration and hope for being able to do this 5k jogging, um, We'll see, <laughs> but but I believe that I can get there. Um, just a few days ago, as I was recording this video, I was talking about you know I know I will be able to jog that one mile, but I certainly didn't think it was going to be a couple days later. So I'm very very excited, and um, I know it probably isn't coming across that way, but it's it's a very emotional thing, and. Um, very powerful. I mean, as we get closer and closer to November and to being a year out from surgery, I'm just, I'm in complete awe of over how much my life has changed. And sometimes it's almost dizzying, you know, like it's just happened so fast. Um, but I'm so very grateful for it. And uh, here's to, here's to running and feeling good and living life and Continually, continuing to push yourself beyond um, where you think you can go, you know, I, um, I don't know. There's just so much out there to be had. It's kind of powerful to feel that way.